this is Turtle Bay. People in the sea. Loads of boats stop here as a, one of the stops. Loads of one of the stops. Um, I think it was a Greek guy telling his missus that she was going on camera. But yeah, there's loads of um, stop, loads of stops that with people do, and this is one of the main ones, Turtle Beach. Um, it's all sealed off there. I think that's just to protect the turtles. Um, and it's actually not far for them to go from this little line here to get into the sea, which is there. So that's good. Obviously, if you look around, we are just surrounded by more beauty. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, there's like little boats on the like in the sea that are, like boats come shops. It's just shops that sound they sell like hot dogs and burgers and fresh fruit pots. We've just got a fresh fruit pot, six six euros each. Bit on the bit on the expensive side, but then I guess that's that's what you get when there's nowhere else to go. Um they sell cold drinks and alcohol, anything really, anything you want. But yeah, it's it's a really pretty beach. I'd love to take you right across, but obviously there's a like a bit of a fence here that we're not allowed to go past, so I can only take you as far as the edge. And this is the edge of the Look at the sea though, it's like crystal clear. Fully crystal clear. Absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, this is Turtle Beach. If you've ever if you've never been here, I'd uh, recommend you come. So, or just do a boat trip and, and come over, obviously. We've had four hour boat trip now. It's really, really nice. I enjoyed every minute of it. So here's um, a little sign. Basically, it says Trespass trespassing is prohibited. Nesting area, loggerhead sea turtle. So obviously this area, and that's the reason there's this line up, is to stop people from um, disturbing the the nesting area. Oh, it's quite cute actually how much they think of the turtles here. It's really, really cute. As I told you before, they are quite a precious little thing. Um, obviously they, they have a really slim chance of survival once they've hatched because they all have to get to the sea without anything or anyone attacking them. So one in a thousand usually live. Some of them just can't get to the sea at all. But like I say, if people are there, they'll definitely help out. You know, they all try and help getting turtles into the sea. But thousands and thousands of them are hatch all the time, don't they? It'd be, it'd be really nice if that had happened right now while we're here, but I doubt it. But yeah, there are, they are um, literally certain times of the year that they do hatch. Um, I'm not quite sure where maybe you could comment and let us know and give us a bit of inspiration and some information that we know nothing about. But, yeah. Uh, plane coming in there over. Coming to landing to Kintos. It's an easy jet. It's an orange and white one. Can't see it.
<laughs> oh, we're all saying hello. <laughs> you want to say hello? Small Vegas. It's literally everything you can possibly want here. But Icon, which is supposed to be the place where all the kids go. I say kids, I mean people younger than myself. <laughs> <clears throat> We've got loads of uh, FBI. Yeah. We've got the loft, which is supposed to be another club. And then Keisha. Actually, looks quite cozy in there. There's a little Keisha pot on your table. Cherry Bay. This is a bright one. Bloody hell. Rescue club, you'd have to rescue me if I went in that club. <laughs> rescue me. It's a bit early, yeah. It is very early, it's like nine o'clock. So I don't think they've all come to life yet, but I mean, that one looks like it is normally open. Oh, that opens at half 11. Bloody hell. I'm in bed at, I'm half, 23.30 is half 11. Oh right, open at 12 midnight, oh right, okay, bloody hell, so that's called Cocktails and Dreams, it's not very lit up, you've got Zero's Club, I think this is where, this side is where all your clubs are isn't it, I mean look at all that alcohol in the middle, wow. bloody hell, so this is the club, Libido, Libido, what a name, <laughs> And then alcohol world, ooh, that is just pure alcohol. 
Alcohol world. <clears throat> it's like a, yeah, it's 48 euros for... That is a big box of Coronas. We'll probably get that on the way back. We'll walk down this way. And then I'll, uh, I'll bring some shots on the way back. But yeah, it's uh, very alive on this side. Very alive. Kamikaze bar. It's another one that's not open yet. Sure it will be in a bit. Urgent care centre. It's where you end up when you've had a rough one. <laughs> Sizzle. It's just wall to wall bars, restaurants. Music is the answer. Flavours, it's a frozen daiquiri bar. Discount shop. Sells all your tap. <laughs> Plenty of that. The old famous Bloody Mac is. No matter where you go, there's a McDonald's. Obviously, uh, oh, there's some kids there. You don't see many of them around there, do we? <laughs> McDonald's. Sells all your normal McDonald's menu. Pizzas, chicken, fruit, <laughs> ice cream. You literally don't need to go anywhere far. Here, you've got everything. Literally. That is, uh, a, a, yeah, it's a knockoff pizza. I don't, know, I don't even know what it is, yeah. <laughs> it's a dodgy KFC. Oh, Off-brand KFC. Chicken in a bucket with a dodgy man on the front of it. And you've got gyros, pizza, chicken, hot dogs, wraps, burritos, <laughs> crepes. You can get a train from the train. Lagana. We love Lagana, don't we? Yeah. yeah. I love Lagana. So I don't know if you can see, um, we've come to the end of the strip, back, back down to the beach. Uh, this beach, literally, I think it's about one and a half miles long, and it's literally door to door bars and restaurants. Um, we're not going to go down that way but if you if we turn around our hotel is back that way um, I'm guessing we can walk along the beach to get to it but not 100% but yeah it's the beach at night I don't really know if you can see much but it's very nice you've got these lucky lucky guys selling the little glow uppy things that they like to throw at people and throw at everyone, try and sell them, a little boat out there. Mm. Very lively here, there's loads to do, and I mean loads to do. So, here we are, bars, nice big thick chunky sunbeds for you to lie on during the day. But they'd be nice and quite comfortable to uh, catch you raise on, get your daily dose of vitamin D. The sand is very compact here, but there are, if you, if you go a bit further back, it's really dry and, and quite fine sand, but it's really compact sand here. This is quite a big restaurant. In fact, it's massive, Mandala. Hello, good evening. Hello. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Are you? Very well. How was your day? All right, yeah. 
it's long and warm. <laughs> uh, Manchester, England. We've just eaten, sorry. No, we're all right, thank you. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. Thank you. So yeah, you've got um, people outside bars and restaurants trying to get you in theirs. Yeah, but they don't. Like yeah, them. yeah, they're not really. Yeah, they're not really pressure. They don't put a lot of pressure on you. They just <clears throat> ask you, sort of. Yeah, it's more of a you're welcome to come in sort of thing, isn't it? Um, Tassos restaurant and bar. Yeah, see it being quite lively here. Yeah. Literally door to door. Hello. We're all right, thank all you. Right. Maybe next time. You're from Holland. <laughs> yeah. 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 What did he say? You're from England. I thought he said you're from Milan. <laughs> you said yeah. <laughs> oh, probably England. Oh, shisha. Quite a big thing over here, Shisha. Oh, Boulevard. So it's just so much going on. I have to say, I've not actually been anywhere that's got so many options on your doorstep. But it's great, because if you and don't... The food is delicious. Oh yeah, the food's amazing. I mean, we've been to a few restaurants now. And the food is something else. Presented really nice, really big portions as well. They like to feed you. They feed you. Don't it's not it. bad at really. And it's, yeah, I mean, you're looking at a meal for two. I mean, we've had cocktails with ours, so it's been a bit dearer, but a normal meal for two and drinks, say about 30 euros, isn't it? Yeah. And then there's cool peppers. And a good meal as well, not like. Yeah, it's not, chips. yeah, it's not you. Like uh, steak pie and nasty creamy stuff. Creamy mash and veggie. Yeah, we've just had steak pie and the steak in it was oh to die for oh, really really soft steak melt in your mouth loads of it packed with steak look at these sunbuds they're quite luxurious aren't they mm. i must say it's really peaceful at the beach at night so some of these bars and restaurants if you come during the day and you buy drinks they let you use the sunbeds for free um, if some of them make you pay um, some of them quite, are quite expensive but yeah if most of them if you if you sort of sit down and buy a drink they don't charge you for using the sunbeds i mean as you can see some are more luxurious than others <laughs> I mean, these ones don't look very comfortable. So, I'm guessing these would be free as long as you're buying a drink. And we've got Infinity, which we've heard good things about. Uh, people have recommended Infinity to us, but we've just not tried it yet. I mean, you'd probably have to stay here for about three or four weeks, wouldn't you, to get to try everything and do everything, like everything that's on offer here. Hello. The best one. It is always the best, isn't oh, it? it? Is. <laughs> so, balsamico, migo, miko, balsamico. Yeah, it's got to be balsamico. <laughs> so yeah, more sunbeds up there for the during the day. Oh, these are pretty. Look at these. How cozy are them? Little lights you put on your table. Oh, quite an intimate evening there. That's infinity. You see this getting lively later on. They've also got quite um, luxurious sunbeds. We're all right, thank you. And you. So, really nice. Oh yeah, Monero. Is it Cubaneros? Cubaneros. It's got a bloody car up there. We came here the other day. Um, it's quite expensive here. Although it does look really nice. We didn't want to, we wanted a cheap day. And then you've got Horizon next door. It just goes on and on and on. I could be literally here all day. 
That's it, yeah, I mean, you can see literally the length of this beach and bars and restaurants. Yeah, I've always thought Lagano was a place not to go. Obviously, being a party place. But we have we've seen. We've loved it. Yeah, we've loved it. <laughs> and we've seen um, people of different ages. I mean, at the moment, it's middle of September. So I think the younger ones have sort of gone home back to college and stuff. Um, I don't even know if you can see me on this camera because it's dark. But yeah, the younger ones have gone back home to college and stuff. And the older generation are coming out now. I say older generation, probably around 40 plus, aren't they? A lot of the people, but I'll tell you what, they can party. We show the young ones how it's done, don't we? Literally where we're staying. Well, we're not staying, we're staying next door. I, I wish we were staying there. But it's such a really nice place. Um, I'd say quite, it is classed as a four star, but I'd say it looks like a five star with the grounds and stuff that are here. Um, I think it goes into this side as well. I think that's the accommodation side. Yeah, this is like the accommodation side and this is like the restaurant and bar side. But um, how pretty is it? I mean, it looks lovely at night. And that, look at that on the top there. So this is called, I think, definitely recommend coming if you want a bit more of a luxurious Lagana stay it's called Gardelli Resort and it is a four star um, obviously ours is next door but it is it's really nice looking out to this side and just taking in where you are really I mean literally we're two minutes from the beach, I can't, I can't. The spot that we're in, I mean, it's not the best hotel. The room's great, it's good for what we want, it's clean. We've got aircon, which is a biggie. But yeah, I think if I was gonna come back here, I wouldn't come back to this hotel. I would definitely stay across the road. <laughs> Cause I like a finger. Ba -ba -da -ba. I like a finger. <laughs> I like a little bit more upmarket me when it comes to hotels. I'm a bit of a bit of a holiday snob. And yeah, back in the Blair Bay. There's Vicky. <laughs> so the boat trip, the, the boat trip that we went on, obviously I wasn't very clear with where we were and where we were going. So we started at Lagana, which is here, in the south of the island and we went out over to Mazithras. There's um, a really nice beach there, it's like paradise. And this is where all the Kerry Caves are as well, um, surrounding here. And then obviously once we'd finished there, we went over to Turtle Island and then back to Lagana. Well, that's, that's the area that the boat trip took us on. So, as you can see, there's so much more to uh, Zante, the island of Zante, to go and um, go and explore. You've got, like, the shipwreck up here and the blue caves. Apparently, the shipwreck is very, uh, very, very well known, very well talked about, but it's not as big as it uh, is perceived to be. Apparently, it's quite small, and I know that due to the rocks in the area, you're not allowed to actually get off at the shipwreck anymore and go and look at it at the moment because it's not safe. Um, but yeah, this is this is pretty much where we went the other day on our boat trip. Just in that, that area there. Just found a family of kitties. Look, there's mum and dad and the babies. How cute are those? The dead mini. Oh, what a lovely little family. <laughs>
Very Greek. How cute is that? Ripping off the uh, ripping off the leaves and then banging it on some hot stones. And then you have corn cooked. Last night here. Um, we've just come for a little walk around places that we've not actually visited yet and we've just found this like look at this that's to eat big octopuses and uh fish just fish all right full on for a country steakhouse looks really nice though Mexican food, some nice fountains. And this is across the road, she's in cocktail house. But yeah, oh, last night, kind of gutted. I've missed my family though, so it'd be nice to get home and see my boys. But uh, I'm gutted to be leaving this behind, and we're dropping about 20 degrees. Oh, look at this, it's just beautiful. Sitting there eating your, eating your meal, your evening meal, whether it's gyros or Mexican or seafood. What a lovely setting, really nice. Feels very holiday ish. And the little horse and carts all lit up, look really pretty. How do you feel about going home tomorrow, Vicky? Oh, don't want to. I want to stay here, live here. Should we just get ourselves a little bungalow here? Yeah. <laughs> don't think our fellas will agree. Ah, bugger them. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, it's been lovely. We've had a great week, haven't we? Yeah. It's been need a bit nice. longer. Maybe yeah, we could have done another couple of days, I reckon. Yeah. Sorry, but, Trevor, but yeah. we're coming back next year. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he'll reply to that. No, you are. No, you're not. Leaving me to iron uniforms again. <laughs> but yeah, it's been really nice. I'll give you um, a full review in the morning on the day of departure. I'll let you know how it's all gone and what where to go and where not to go and things to do. But yeah, kind of kind of sad on our last night, as you can probably tell by the tone of our voices. It's a really nice place. I didn't actually think I'd like it, but you know. You never know till you, you get You don't in. know, that's it. Oh, yeah. So yeah, give Zanti a go, you love it. It's for all ages. Not just Zanti, you've got to go to Lagana. Lagana, the party town, but I think if you're a bit older, don't come too early. Come, come when the kids are back at school. Look at that, that's a nice hotel. Mm. I'm sure we did a drop off there, didn't we? Yeah, we did. White olive. Thank you very much. Very nice. <laughs> Walking along, I don't know if you can see them, it's a bit dark, but there's four. Four dogs. There's one. I know they'll be full of fleas, but how cute are they? Doggy, where's a dog? Look at those. No, they won't bite me. Hello, doggy. Look at them. Must just chill around here. Sad to see that they've not got homes and they're just on the streets. Never happened in the UK. We've got each other. Oh, we're chasing a cat. <laughs> nice big central hypermarket. Nothing exciting. We're just going to go and have a look in, see what they're selling, like you do. On your last night. Got all them dogs over there. Something mental. 
cat's not even bothered. Is the cat anything. just chilling? Yeah, look, he's chasing, chasing the dogs. dogs. <laughs> <laughs> and now the dogs are barking at it, like, hey, hang on. Should be the other way around. That's funny. Doggos. Oh, watch the road. They don't care, do they? <laughs> Um, it's our last morning here. We're flying back to the UK this afternoon. Apparently we're going back to some really cold weather, so I'm not looking forward to that. Um, just a bit of a lowdown on our holiday. So obviously we got here last Wednesday. We stayed for a week in the Player Bay Hotel. Rated three star with Jet 2. Now, Overall, we'd give it probably one star. Yeah, we'd probably give it one star due to how basic it is. Um, it, it's, it's been great for what we want. It's been amazing. The guy on the reception, I think he's called Jason, he's been really accommodating. Anything we've asked for has been no problem. Obviously, we moved rooms on the first day. And the room we've been in has been great. We had air con. However, you do have to normally pay for that, which is 70 euros a week, which we wouldn't have been very pleased with. Um, for the price of the holiday, we paid £326 each for a week, bed and breakfast, which we can't grumble with, so I guess you get what you pay for. Um, it's been a, a perfect location, so Lagana is a brilliant location, obviously. It's full of party people, but depending on the time of the year you come, we've come mid-September for a week, so it's made it much more, sort of, yeah, you can tolerate it a bit more because it's not as loud, um, and as the week's gone on, more have gone home and it's got quieter and quieter. Plenty to do here, there's bit, you know, we've done a boat trip, we could have done a lot more, there's go-karts, there's horse riding, there's um, tours of the island, so many places to see and visit. The public transport is, is pretty much, you know, everything you can get from horse and cart to buses to taxis to land trains, boats. So everything's on your doorstep, perfect location. Um, obviously, since we moved rooms, we've been quite happy with the room we're in. <laughs> Um, it's been fantastic. The maid service has been okay. You know, we've had a couple of, we've had clean towels every couple of days. Obviously, at first they only gave us one each, which wasn't enough because us women need one for our hair, one for our bodies. So we had to ask for two more, but it wasn't a problem. Absolutely not. Um, and we've got them. We had them given to us. They changed the sheets halfway through the week, which was nice. The beds, um, so on the reviews, we read reviews before we came out. Uh, there was a lot of bad press about bed bugs. So obviously we were a bit vigilant when we came. We checked the beds. I've been awake through the night checking the beds. Not a sign of any bed bug. In fact, the mattresses look quite clean and I could probably show you. So, you know, they're not, they're not dirty, there's no stains, they look relatively new. Um, so yeah, I don't know what issues people have had, you know, everybody's got their own personal experiences. Our experience has been, a holiday is what you make it, you always get what you pay for. So, you know, if you want four or five star, you need to pay for it. It's been perfect for me and Vicky. Uh, plenty of restaurants and bars um, around us. The, the food, we can honestly recommend a place called Sirocco, which is on Laguna Strip. That sells Mexican, Italian, um, Greek, English. So we even got a steak pie there one night, which was amazing, wasn't it? Yeah. All quite good priced. I mean, a meal for two with a couple of cocktails, you're looking at 50 euros maximum. Um, we we've just enjoyed the week haven't we the weather's been perfect we've had nothing but sun 29 30 degrees every day and overall yeah it's been really good i'm gonna miss the views i'm gonna miss the you know the the life here because it is such a lovely lovely place to be 
the beach is literally down the road as, as I've probably told you previously and I'll just give you one more look of the look at that for a view in the morning absolutely beautiful obviously if you want to go a bit more upmarket you have got a hotel across the road I'm not 100% what this is called but I can find out and, and probably link it to the video um, this is a four star hotel so that's the, the that's the rooms and then downstairs there is connected to the hotel it's part of the hotel that's where all the guests go for breakfast uh, me and Vicky did price it up it was something like £2,000 for a week so like I say you get what you pay for but that was just for accommodation it's on booking.com but you know we wanted a cheat week away we got a cheat week away and uh, I can't complain it's been it is it's been brilliant we've just made it the best haven't we yeah. had the yeah. best time it's been great. it has been great great company yeah. love you Vic you too, lads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, oh yeah um if you are here you have got a telly on the wall as you can see not a bad size just above the bed but due to the the, pe the kind of guests that this hotel does um, attract mm. it's uh, you do have to ask for the remote control for it at reception which isn't a problem and you do have to ask for a, a hairdryer they don't, the, the kettle and things don't come with the room, obviously. I brought me a little fold away travel kettle, so that's that's been our saviour. We've had a brew every morning. Round the corner from here, at Lagana Breeze, I've probably mentioned it before. We've been going there, you get a good English breakfast, they do omelettes which are out of this world. In fact, anything is not a problem. The guy that owns the place called Tony, he's really accommodating and it's quite cheap we've been we've been going to that pool every day because the pool here is not nice um and it basically as long as you're buying food and drink he's not bothered he's quite happy for you to use his pool the pool bar is a euro for a, a liter and a half of water and i think it's about two euros for um a soft drink like fanta or sprite or anything like that like your fans say they do nice cocktails we got a pint of uh, pina colada the other night for seven euros although it wasn't very strong was it it, no. it was nice but you, you struggle to taste the alcohol so but yeah there's loads and loads of places around here to go i definitely recommend uh, you come with children there's not many children here don't know if it's to do with the time of the year there's a couple of families across the road at that hotel with toddlers um, but we've literally not really seen any children. It's been a bit strange, but I guess when we come without the kids, you don't really want to see them. So, um, yeah, it's it's not a massive family area, I'd say. Recommend for youngsters, probably, you know, 18, 30s, because you've got that type. It's a vibe holiday. And then you've got the older couples and, and like, friend groups like me and Vicky. Um of all ages I mean we met a group of guys that are age 47 to 67 and they have literally not stopped having fun they're here for 10 days and they've had the best time went on been on boat trips and stuff like that so there is loads to do here so I definitely definitely recommend you come to Laguna if you want a, if you want a week of fun or even if you want a week of chill it is what you make it as you can see empty room back to cases it's been good, it's been a pleasure, until next time.